Hello, fellow humans. This is your neighborhood M Squad One. Yeah. So, how are you guys doing today? I hope you just said good, because if you're not doing good, that's a problem for everyone involved, really. Well, today I am back on my Let's Play. And for all you Hobo Nation fans, by the way, I'm not neglecting Hobo Nation. I've just had some internet issues. And so I haven't been really able to get on Hobo Nation and do much. And plus, I'm waiting for some other peoples to do it. But today, we're going to be spending the episode mainly in the end. I don't... I really don't like that it does that. So, because we're going to be doing something kind of neat. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I want you guys to kind of remember what the end looks like. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> that didn't really help. Alright, let's kind of move over. I just need to make sure I don't jump off the cliff. Ta-da! Remember, I kind of made a little end winter city thing. That's what I've been working on. Uh, that was a while ago. I made this ice rink, you know. Next, I'm going to make a Christmas tree. I'm going to cover the snow. I need to finish that. Oh, man. That building style. Ooh. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, you're just... You're pathetic. Mr. Enderman. Okay. So he's just going to burn to death. Alright, so today what we're going to be doing is going to be quite simple. Okay. I would like to build a little shack that's going to be in the winter city. We're going to not build the shack today. We're going to build that next episode. But what we're going to do today is build the redstone behind it. Because this isn't just any ordinary little shack. This is going to be a awesome one. <laughs> I was waiting for you to like pick up what I'm throwing down. So, over here I should probably be over there. Do you think I can make it? Oh. Oh. Yes. I kind of got nervous with that jump. I should not have done that. That is way too risky. Okay. So, I have this nice long path all the way to this thingy. Okay. So what this is, this is my uh, end farm. I'm pretty sure it still works. Oh, I really hope it does. I was just in peaceful. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. I just had to make sure, because I was just in peaceful, which is not what I want with this design of farm. Pretty much, it's one of the endermite ones. Endermite goes down, and bada bing, bada boom, bam, bow, wow. They are ready to be killed. So, yeah. It is very simple. You get lots of levels quickly. So, we back up. Alright, so I have a bunch of hoppers material. So, I'm actually going to be building a bunch of hoppers. All coming on all, all the way down here. Let's go ahead and turn hostile creatures all the way off so that we're not annoyed during this. Um, you, sir, need to go home. Home. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna just go ahead and tear this all up. We're gonna be putting red right, hoppers below here going all the way around so that I mean there's going to be some that I could pick up on my own not much though and that's kinda what I want so yeah let's go ahead and tear all these out and then we'll be able to build so oh, I don't have a crafting bench oh well I have extra chests for that reason so we'll build that Alright, let's just do this. Alright, those foot noises. Yeah, those are annoying. Um, let's go ahead and turn those off. Uh, friendly creatures, off. There we go, okay. Um, let's just get all this wood in here. I got so much wood I could build me a fort. Sorry, it's a reference to a song. If you don't get it, then that's uh, your problem. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, from Nasty Freestyle by T. Wayne. 
So, yeah. All right. So we have quite a few chests. We're missing some, but we're gonna go ahead and make a bunch of hoppers. We're gonna start building. I don't know if we'll have enough hoppers for doing it on camera completely. I think I went two stacks out, so we might need just a bit more, but we got plenty of iron back at the base. So let's just put an output over there. Ooh, I have an idea. Is that void? Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Then we'll just put these around. I kind of want to get this part out of the way as quick as I can. The risky part. Because as soon as I get the risky part done, it's not as risky. And yes, don't worry. I am putting my stuff into chests when I'm going to be actually crawling over the world. I'm not a complete... Bleh. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, now whenever the items fall... Ugh, lost some slabs. Please say that's not going to hurt me. Probably won't. When I say hurt, I mean... It, it, it would actually really be bad. Because I don't know if I have enough slabs. I should have brought slabs. And actually, you know what? I probably will need to slab this entire thing. So I don't know how far it is. Let's go ahead and put our stuff into the chest. So we can... Oh, that's the dip. Alright. That's all I really care about. Um, I'll keep my food on me. I got plenty back at home. <sighs> okay. So, I don't have my pig eggs. No. All right. That's. Is this a junk one? Yeah, sorta. Of. This will have to do. If I lose this, I mean, it's not the end of the world. So. Let's go ahead and do this. <gasps> Oh dear. Okay. We need to find out the coordinates. Alright, so we are in minus four. Yep, minus four. Okay, so we're going to actually have to head all the way over there to set this up. So, yeah, minus four. And if it doesn't match up perfectly. Just saying, it's it's probably no, <gasps> no, no. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys. So if you aren't familiar with what's going on right now, um, okay. <laughs> I got this. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I've always wanted to give some last <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so pathetic. Just a second. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys aren't sure what's going on, because you're kind of confused or something. I just jumped off into the void. Now I'm going to lose everything I have. Thankfully, I just took off all my armor and all my nice tools. I just have this one enchanted diamond pickaxe on me and 38 hoppers. Seriously? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What should my last words be, guys? Um, I'm trying to think of some... I got it. All right. So if you aren't familiar with the song by... Uh, you know... Uh, oh, yeah. What's, what's his name? Uh, Phil Collins. It's called You'll Be In My Heart. And it is, When destiny calls you, you must be strong. I may not be with you. 
but you got wrong one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when destiny calls you, you must be strong. I may not be with you, but you got to hold on. They'll see in time. I know. We'll show that together, cause you'll be in my heart. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> okay. So this is my new base. Yeah. I'm actually kind of upset, cause this one is one block too far that way. So I actually have to move this and this one block over. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some stuff back. I mean, I can't get it back, back. But I'm gonna go recover from that. Um... Accident, that's a good word for it. That accident. Ow. <laughs> so I found some hoppers I could use. I don't have my. T oh, I don't have my tools. Grr. Okay, so I'm gonna go get a pickaxe and I'm gonna use those hoppers because apparently we just have a bunch of hoppers right here. Oh, look. Some of the stuff. Okay, I'm just. Hey, at least it wasn't this one. Hey, you, you, get away from my villagers. Yes, sound is off for mountains still. But I want to tell you about something. So today that you are seeing this is, wow, I guess that is pretty fast. Today that you're seeing this is the 16th of October, maybe? 16th? Yeah, the 16th of October. So, and I'm actually filming this on the uh, 15th. So, that being all said, on the 14th of October, which was a couple days ago. Let's do that. Um, I had a little bit of an incident. So, you guys, I've talked to you guys about this before. I'm going to go put this pickaxe back because... Oh, I don't want to lose that. Um, I've talked to you guys about I mean, before about how I love to bike. And biking's fun. It's good exercise. So, I mean, why not? It's it's good exercise, and it's fun. So, I was out biking yesterday. And just doing my thing. You know, typical I'm squad one stuff. And I was riding on the military base I live next to, next to. And it is legal to do that, by the way. When, let me, how do I explain this? Um, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But either way, that iron has been, I've been working on getting that much iron for over, for almost a year now. <sighs> All used today. Thank you, Iron Farm, for your gift of iron. Actually, I think I made that Iron Farm the episode before I started Hobo Nation. So, kind of the time frame we're looking at for it. So, I have 10 stacks of iron. And I'm only going to... I'm going to use all of it. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go make some chests real quick. Alright, so, I have gone ahead and gotten over 2 stacks of wood. This should last us a bit mainly five stacks of iron so that'll have to do for now uh, I kind of was set back big time I might make this two parts of the redstone and one part for the little shack that will hold all the ender pearls that come through the portal so I don't have to get rid of ender pearls anymore I can just you know kind of throw them off a cliff or something I don't have to throw them off a cliff Oh, hiccups. Oh. So, yeah. Well, so, back to my story about the biking. Um, so, there I was driving. Let's just kind of use some of these as a diagram. So, let's say this yellow line. All right, this is a yellow line. Okay? So, the yellow line, if you don't know when you're driving, you can't pass. So, I was going this way. Let's make this me. Actually, that's not going to stay. Let's make this me. Then I was right there. There's a semi truck right here. Okay? And there's a pickup truck back here. I was riding my bike and bicycle. 
And this truck decided to come over here and pass me. Or pass the big truck. And it didn't see me. So when it was about here, there was literally no space for me to, to move out of the way. I decided to dump my bike with me on it over to the side so that the truck could go through. And so literally I was about two feet if I had waited like two seconds, I would have been hit. Yeah. Yeah, the, it it was that close. Like, not even two seconds, like one Mississippi. That one second. Yeah, I would have been hit, and it's just ridiculous. So I'm just letting you know. For them of you who want to start driving someday, yeah, watch out for bikers. Whether they're motorcycle bikers, or not watch out for them they are important to stay alive okay watch out for bikers if you see a biker you know what you should not do you should not just pass them like and give them no space okay you need to treat bikers like they are cars if you're gonna pass them pass them in a passing zone and do not be in the same lane as them in the same part. Don't go half lane. Always do a full lane. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, yeah, stay off the road. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. Stay off the road. I don't want to get hit. <sighs> Sometimes you will forget and stuff, I know. But stay off my road. Got it. Thank you. All right, so I just realized I don't actually know how tall the thing is. Wait a minute. Can I just do a water stream? I could just do a water What? I could do a water stream. I got plenty of ice back at the base. You know what? I don't need these sticks. When destiny calls you, you must be strong. I may not be with you, but you got to hold on. They'll see in time. I know we'll show them together, cause you'll be in my heart. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and sleep. Okay. Why is caps lock on? That's why I keep dying. Urgh. So yeah. Be careful with bikers. Please. Please, 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 please. It's not just for our safety. There's also some bikers that use something called a back off whip. What it is, it's, it's a piece of rope with a metal thingy on it. And if you get close, they will, and get like too close, they will hit your car with it to get your attention and I think it's perfectly fair just saying and if you ever see bikers wave to each other while they're riding yeah that's not just being friendly that's for their safety okay got it no like seriously do you got it that's what I thought <laughs> alright um, I'm gonna talk I left my silk touch pickaxe in the end <laughs> I shouldn't have jumped and died. Ah, that's pathetic. All right, let's go get it. We'll grab some ice, and we'll make part two. Um, so yeah, another thing that happened Tuesday. I needed to go to the back to the dentist. So you know, the dentist, because one of my fillings that I got just the other day was hurting extremely bad, like pressure which is just a fancy dentist word for pain, by the way. So, uh, yeah, they came in, I, or I came in, I was like, hey, bro, my tooth's still hurting. They're like, let me check at it. Huh, well, I got a, so I mean, oh, we can, here's literally what they said. They looked at me, so they were looking from like, you know, this view, they said, Oh, we can fix it. And he grabbed the drill, told me to open my mouth, and started drilling my face. Like, rah, 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 all up in my grill. Yeah, it was that bad. So, there, oh, I have no food. 
there I was getting my face drilled out you know all sad like and suddenly I died just kidding I didn't die just it hurt so bad and I don't get why they thought that was a good idea I mean seriously what the like why? How is it a good idea? G O O D it spells good, by the way. Idea for you to. I'm gonna use an Ender Pearl. I I can't get back that quick. I I'm sorry. I've been told to never use an Ender Pearl in the end. I don't care. Now I really should stop so I don't die. But, yeah, I'm very low on, uh, I need to get home quick. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, my tooth still hurts, but that's because they drilled into it without any narrow face freezer stuff. Uh, I really don't like this path. So, yeah, well, I know I did barely anything. But I died a couple times. I'm getting tired. So I'm going to have to end this episode. My foot's asleep also. So, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please, 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 please hit that like button. It is Ender Knees for thank you for watching. Or thank you for making this. If you didn't like it, then please hit the dislike button, which means... Hey, get your stuff together, bro. So let's see if we can get it. Uh, we're going to go get the food while I tell you. Also, there's also a subscribe button. It is Italian or something. Uh, just like Fred, uh, Fregiel or uh, Pa, mm, pa dis, uh, pa dis Shit, shit. Yeah. Pud this sit. They say it outside of boxes. If you turn it upside down, it says this side up, but that's obviously not what it is. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go go down and get my stuff. You know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a very nice day. See ya.